let's talk about three new accounting principles, consistency, disclosure, and representational faithfulness. Representational faithfulness means that we will be reporting our financial statements fairly and accurately. The consistency principle talks about how when we prepare financial statements, we have to use the same methods and procedures from one period to the next. So if a company has inventory and it uses last in first out to report its inventory values, this company has to use life for every year to prepare the financial statement. So it cannot use life for this year, five for next year, switch back to life for in the third year. That's not allowed. Consistency means you pick one method and you use it consistently every single accounting period. Now, does that mean that a company cannot change their accounting methods? No, a company can change their accounting method, but they have to disclose it and they have to restate their financial statements using the new method for the past years. So it is a big deal to change a accounting method. So usually once a company picks accounting method, they just stick with it and use it for the same accounting period. Consistency ensures that a user of financial statements will know that financial statements that they look at from one year to the next are prepared using the same methods and procedures and therefore they're comparable. The disclosure principle states that financial statements should disclose enough information for users to make an informed decision. The information that we present should be relevant and fair and accurate. For example, Disclosure principle states that we need to disclose what accounting method we use to value our in inventory. If we use last in first out, we would disclose that we used last in first out. If we used straight line method to calculate our depreciation, you would disclose that we use straight line method to calculate depreciation. And then if there are any other material transactions, think of material as large enough, transactions large enough where the user would change their mind if they knew about them. So if there are any large transactions that are important, then those would also be disclosed in notes to the accounts. Now, representational faithfulness tells that we need to make sure that our financial statements are fair and accurate. For financial statements to be fair and accurate, we need to report the true nature of the financial statements. Because of faithful representation, we have a rule that comes into play for inventory, which we call the lower off cost or market rule. Inventory on the balance sheet is reported at the lower off cost or market. Market usually means replacement cost of the inventory. If the market price of that inventory that you hold is lower, we write down our inventory and report it at the market value. Remember, market means replacement cost. How do we write it off? We write it off to cost of goods sold by debiting cost of goods sold and crediting inventory. For example, let's say that your ending inventory is valued at $10,000. However, the replacement cost of that inventory is $8,000. So in your balance sheet, you have inventory at $10,000, which is higher than the replacement cost. So the inventory is priced too high. It's not fair or accurate to report a value of $10,000 in your balance sheet for your inventory because it's not worth that much. So to apply the lower of cost or market rule, what we do is we write it down to our market price, which is $8,000. How do we write it down? We credit inventory for $2,000 that will bring down our inventory to $8,000 which is a replacement cost or market and we debit cost of goods sold so we increase our cost of goods sold and write it off as an expense when the cost or market rule is applied. Now what if your inventory is valued at $10,000 and the replacement cost or market value is $11,000 it is more then we do nothing. We do not do anything if the market value is more than our cost. That is called conservatism. In accounting, we always apply conservatism. Think of conservatism as 
don't count your chickens until they're hatched. So if we anticipate a loss, we anticipate a loss because our inventory we hold in our balance sheet is valued higher than the market, then we write it off. But if the inventory we hold in our balance sheet is lower than the market, then we just say, okay, we'll hold on the lower value. We're not going to write it up. That is conservatism. Sometimes you'll also hear about the conservatism principle uh, when it relates to lower off cost or market rule.